Today we're going to be taking a look at the best hitch options for your 2018 Kia Sportage. Up top here we're going to have our Class 3 draw tight, and right below it we're going to have our Class 3 Kurt. Now here on our Sportage we have the draw tight installed so you can see what it's going to look like. Now both of them are going to be hidden behind the bumper for the most part and all we're really going to see is that receiver tube sticking out and they're both going to give us that 2 inch by 2 inch opening. So now that we've seen what the draw tight looks like, let's take a closer look and take a look at some of the differences. So right off the bat, when we look at them, we're going to notice a difference in design. They're both going to have that cross tube, but the draw tight's going to have a little bit of a skinnier neck where the receiver tube's going to come out. Whereas the Kurt is going to have this wider plate where the receiver tube's going to come out, but they're both going to sit about the same, and we're really just going to see that receiver tube and the cross tube is going to be hidden behind the bumper. Now they're both going to be class 3 and give us that 2 inch receiver tube opening and they both have a reinforced collar but the draw tight is going to be more of a rounded look and this Kurt is going to have more of a flush cut. Now as far as our safety chain connection points go, on the draw tight we're going to have a plate style but it's going to be on the side of our receiver tube welded on. Now that's going to benefit us because we're going to be able to get in there and they got rather large holes so we can get most size hooks on there and we're not going to have to worry about a locking device or a hitch pin interfering because they're going to be below the receiver tube. Whereas with the Kurt, it's still going to be a plate style but it's going to be on the bottom of our receiver tube. Now we're not going to have to worry about getting the hooks attached, we're going to have plenty of room for that and our hitch pin is offset, but the benefit of it being on the bottom welded like this, opposed to the draw tight, is that we're actually going to gain a little bit of ground clearance because it's going to be sucked up closer to the receiver tube itself. Both of our hitches are going to use a standard 5 8 pin and clip to secure everything. Now neither of our hitches come with it, but you can pick them up on our website with the draw tight you'll notice it has that secondary hole here and that's going to be for the j-pin stabilization device now what this is going to do is it's going to go through the standard 5 8 pin and then on the inside here once we put the attaching nut on it's going to suck the j-pin in and apply pressure to our accessory keeping it nice and snug against the receiver tube keeping it from rattling now it is also a locking device, so it's going to keep our accessory nice and secure. And this is sold separately. As far as weight is concerned, our Kurt is going to have a 525 pound tongue weight along with a 3500 pound gross trailer weight rating. Whereas the draw tight is going to bump it up a little bit. It's going to have a 675 pound tongue weight along with a 4500 pound gross trailer weight rating and our draw tight is rated to work with the weight distribution systems where the Kurt is not. Now with the draw tight if you are using weight distribution systems the ratings on both the tongue and the gross trailer weight ratings they're both going to stay the same. Now with all of that in mind, I do always recommend that you double check your Sportage's owner's manual to make sure that you never exceed the manufacturer's recommended weight. One thing I do like about the draw tight is that they have this built-in bracket here and that's going to be to mount any of your electrical accessories so that whenever we get ready to hook up to our trailer, our electrical connector will be right here. So to sum everything up between our two hitches, if weight is your main concern, I would definitely go with the draw tight just because of the increased tongue weight as well as the gross trailer weight rating and the ability to use a weight distribution system. If ease of installation is your concern, I really think either one's going to be a good choice because they are going to install relatively the same, just minus one bolt. And there's not going to be any drilling or cutting required, it's going to use all factory holes. Now as far as appearance goes, they're both going to sit nicely behind the bumper and they're just going to have that receiver tube sticking out, so I think both are a good option. If clearance is a big concern of yours, I would pick the Kurt because you are going to lose about 2 inches of ground clearance just because of the style of safety chain loops that are on the draw tight. And that'll finish up the look at the best hitch options for your 2018 Kia Sport. Thanks for watching. Click the link in our description below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com. And leave us a comment if you have any questions.